Good evening. I'm Kate Sherwood from the Livert Play Board of Directors, and it is my honor to present the Community Partner Award here at Make a Buzz Ottawa 2021. The Community Partner Award is given annually to celebrate a group or organization in the community that has played an important role in helping Live Work Play deliver on our mission of a more inclusive Ottawa for people with intellectual disabilities and autistic persons. For example, past recipients included the Parkdale Food Center, YMCA, YWCA, and Meals on Wheels, representing welcoming community venues for our members to learn and contribute. For 2020-2021, the Community Partner Award goes to a group that many of you may not be aware of, but that has made massive behind the scenes contributions to the well-being of people with intellectual disabilities, developmental service workers, and the advancement of public health measures that benefit our entire community. The Ottawa Developmental Services Network, or ODSN, is represented by leaders of 18 charitable organizations, as well as regional supervisors from the Ontario Ministry of Children, Community and Social Services. While the work of ODSN is always important because systems planning impacts on the lives of all people with intellectual disabilities and their families, for obvious reasons, 2020-2021 has demanded an extraordinary level of cooperation and dedication to the health and safety of thousands of supported individuals, staff, their families, and connections. To make a long story short, ODSN members mobilized quickly at the beginning of the pandemic to support each other with the procurement of personal protective equipment, known as PPE, such as masks, shields, gloves, and sanitizer, worked with public health to provide information and to partner on strategies for responding to positive cases of COVID-19 and have been meeting as often as twice a week to offer support and troubleshoot on emerging issues. ODSN members have been incredibly generous in supporting each other. For example, purchasing thousands and thousands of PPE items, making them available to other organizations, no delays, no paperwork. Take what you need and we will bill you later. Similar support was offered in navigating the myriad of legal issues, the time consuming and expensive work of interpreting provincial policies, rolling them out to staff. ODSN members divided up these tasks and were generous in offering the results of their work to others. We will never know how many lives were saved or how many people did not get sick or hospitalized because of these diligent efforts. And to say that ODSN member organizations have gone above and beyond is truly an understatement. Here to accept this award tonight is longstanding ODSN representative, Gina Santa Moore, executive director of the Ottawa Rotary Home. Gina is representing the entire membership of ODSN, but she is also one of the representatives that has taken a leading role on COVID-19 issues. Working tirelessly with Ottawa Public Health and an endless list of provincial bodies and networks to help keep us all informed keep us stocked in PPE, and keep us feeling supported and truly part of a caring network. Thank you for that introduction. It's an honor to receive the Community Partner Award on behalf of the Ottawa Developmental Services Network. This award is for ODSN and not for the Ottawa Rotary Home, but I wanted to tell you a bit about us. We have about 65 staff members right now, and our board of directors, who governs this, or this organization, is composed of deeply committed volunteers from various Rotary Clubs in the Ottawa area, some of whom Live Work Play knows through your own participation as a member of Rotary Club of West Ottawa. We provide child and adult respite services to more than 280 families in our East region. And so the impact of this pandemic has been an intense challenge to not only our organization, but to the families, individuals, uh, and stakeholders that we support. The opportunity to collaborate with ODSN and to, to, to work closely with our ODSN peers has been a critical support, both practical and emotional, to get through many of these difficult times over the course of this year. When Julie Kingston was approached in 2019 about taking a turn as chair of ODSN, I'm sure the events of 2021 were not quite what she was expecting. I personally want to thank Julie for all of her efforts, 
for the work that she and LibWork Play have contributed to filling the essential role of coordinating um, many of our Zoom meetings, many more than we normally had due to COVID-19, but to provide some guidance and some critical facilitation that ODSN has really benefited from over the course of this year. I know Live Work Play is a relatively small organization that was impacted quite differently from other ODSN members. But I know that we all appreciate your investment in caring about the well being of individuals and staff throughout the Ottawa area. And I am in full agreement with the content and spirit of the introduction of this award. The help we have provided to each other is above and beyond any reasonable expectation. And although like the rest of you, I'm sure we're all a little bit tired, I'm also grateful and encouraged by what we have achieved together. I look forward to sharing this award with the rest of my ODSN colleagues, and thank you so much for including me in your event. Thank you.